Good morning. This is Chris from Worthington Home. It's bright and early on a Friday morning and I'm headed to a tag sale sponsored by Glastonbury Historical Society. So I'm hoping they have some good things. It was heavily advertised. I bet there'll be a lot of people. I'll take footage as well as I possibly can. There's also an estate sale in Meriden that I might check out. So we'll see how time goes. I'm hoping that there's some cool vintage stuff in my future. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Unfortunately, I have parked really far away and the only way to the tag sale is through the woods. So we're gonna follow the path. I'm told it's not that far. Okay, it wasn't that far and it was a very pretty walk and I'm loving this old barn. It's kind of fabulous. So right around this corner are the grounds. We are here. This place is making me feel like I'm back in time. It is beautiful and such a nice day. I'm taking a peek at all of the furniture. Of course, I want to beeline to the china, but let me just see what's here first. There's lots of great pieces. I'm tempted by everything and the prices here are pretty good. I'm not seeing anything that's giving me sticker shock and tomorrow is actually half off day. I'm really interested in this writing desk for $50, which is a great price, but it occurs to me that I have some similar things already at home that I could use for that purpose. This is a great piece. This is in Hitchcock style. It might even be Hitchcock, I don't know. $50 for this. And here's a look at the barn that I'm standing in. It's a fabulous space. Ooh. Here is a little spinning wheel. I think someone told me this is for spinning flax. I picked up a very similar one at an estate sale not too long ago. And I took a picture of this one to help me reconstruct the one I bought that has some broken parts and needs some other restoration work. So hopefully this will be a good guide for me. This tea cart is adorable, also in Hitchcock style, only $10. That is a fantastic price and it has a great look. And here's the rest of the building. A lot of these things are not for sale. They belong to the Historical Society. All of those things are pushed to the back so people don't get confused. Is it me or does this brick pathway and all of the gardens have a strong colonial Williamsburg vibe? I've never been there, but it's been on my bucket list for at least the last 30 years. I love how this looks. All right, now we're going inside the Historical Society Museum building or house building, and it has a fabulous, huge hearth. Oh, I love that. Check out all the woodwork. And here's the little beehive fireplace. I love this old wooden settle. This reminds me of the one I saw in East Haddam at the estate sale. And here's what I love to see, a room full of old and fabulous books. I love the wide plank floors. I love all of the painted woodwork. Everything is good about this room. All right, I'm back outside. You see that red barn? That's where we're headed. That's where the china and the glass and the pottery and all the things are. This was an old tobacco drying barn. I think it's so cool they still have tobacco up here. Oh my gosh, and this is the little Moshette that I love for $150, but I could not possibly store all of these pieces. Wow, that's beautiful. I'd love to buy it. Can't do it. Oh my gosh, my hair is frizzing into oblivion. I just made a trip to the car. I'm going back for more. This is a really good sale. I wish I were parked closer. I'm gonna get my steps in today for sure. I just came back out of the woods. This is deja vu. 
Now I'm in a tent that has wooden things and toys. This is $12. I maybe should have bought that. I like this tray. This is an interesting lighting fixture, some kind of lantern, $14. It's a reproduction. There's some beautiful lamps here. I had this Fisher Price Airport set. Oh my gosh, if you played with this as a child, please leave me a comment. I got a lot of use out of that thing. And my grandmother had a toy piano very like this one. I would have picked it up for $10, but it wasn't in great condition. There's some Christmas stuff here, including some shiny bright ornaments. Love me some shiny bright ornaments. These look like they're in nice shape with the original box. Eric dislikes primitive prints like this very much. $15. I should buy it just to scare him with it. He would not be happy with me if I did that. And I'm just flipping through all of the different artwork. Uh-oh, here's another one. This frame is gorgeous. I love the carving on this. It's $20. There's another pretty mirror. So much good stuff. I have two carom boards like that. And these plates are very pretty, $6 on that. And this is an interesting divided bowl for $20. Really interesting pictures depicted on this. And a little Johnson Brother plate or dish shaped like a Christmas tree. Why not? And a coronation cup. Oh my goodness, I just, my eyes don't know where to go first. All right, I'm back into another space that has more furniture. I love this dresser. Gotta love it. So Victorian with the marble top and all of the embellishments. 400 for this piece. And this is fabulous. So this old wagon hearse is part of the Historical Society's collection. This place is amazing. And can you just imagine seeing this thing rolling down the street? It is so impressive. What a nice find for them. Let's see what this tag says. Buckingham Hearse East Glastonbury. Fabulous piece. Well, the bad news is I look like this. The hair had to go up. I am dressed far too warm for this day. It's 76 degrees. I don't know why. I thought it was going to be much cooler. And I need to drive my car around so I can pick up the rest of my stuff. I spent a little bit of money, but I love what I got. Let's go. Here's my last little glimpse at the sale. I am going to make my way out after I get my stuff. And here's a sign so you can see exactly where I've been, the Historical Society of Glastonbury's tag sale. They did a phenomenal job. Everybody was so friendly and so helpful. I thought the prices were really fair, especially because there will be a half off day for people who want to go back. But I'll tell you, there were so many people here. I can't imagine there'll be much left. I guess you never know. As I'm making my way out, my eyes are firmly on the road, no worries, but I've turned my camera to the side so you can see the grounds as we drive by. Fabulous, fabulous place. I've just arrived at an estate sale that's been going on for a few hours now. So I think it started at nine. It's now 1137. It is day one. So it'll be interesting to see whether there are any good things or whether all the good stuff got scooped up early. Of course, it's also possible there wasn't really good stuff to begin with. Who can say? Um, but I'm interested and intrigued to check it out. Let's go inside. I'm loving these hydrangeas all in bloom. The colors are so beautiful. I have hydrangeas like that, but my um, mine are a shrub, not a little tree. And I like the trees even better, if I'm honest. Here's a sign telling us we're in the right place. And this is a very cool old Victorian house. Let's go inside. So here we are in the parlor. Look at the shape of this room. Isn't it fabulous? Wow, it is a great space. I'm not really quite sure what exactly it is that's for sale here. Not too much. A couple of things. 
Here's a very interesting old fireplace just decked out in Victorian style. And of course, I'm just completely distracted by this beautiful space. I like this old enamel kitchen table. That's kind of cool with its wood tone. I always am attracted to those. I don't know why I like them so much. And you've got some cool old wallpaper and some reproduction lighting fixtures and a baby carriage. I'm just showing you more of this space. At this point, I'm sensing this isn't a place where I'm really gonna be buying stuff. There's a lot of reproduction Victorian things here. And then of course the house has some, what looks like authentic features to it, like these kitchen cabinets, which are really fabulous. So I'm just gonna focus on the house so we can get to see it better. Look at that little pass through to the butler's pantry. Love a butler's pantry. These cabinets are great. Let's get a closer look at the poles. And here is another great cabinet. I love the wire front on this. It looks almost like a radiator cover. Very nice. All right, we're gonna go upstairs and see what they have in the bedrooms. This is a really neat house. All right, I'm gonna go past this bathroom, looking at the light fixtures here and all of the woodwork. Here is a bedroom space. And there's some clothes in the closet. So this truly is an estate sale, it looks like. And I wanna show you this wallpaper border. It's very interesting. It's reproduction, of course, but I love the old advertising images on this. One of my favorite things about estate sales is just checking out the different kinds of wallpaper they use and the window treatments and the paint colors. I just find it very interesting. Nice rug. I have lots of radiators like that all throughout my house. Ours have covers on them though, so we don't really see them. This woodwork is beautiful. Let's see what they have in some other rooms. Nice old clock. And that's the bathroom that we passed before. I'm just taking a quick little peek. It looks like a little reproduction light of some kind and a nice long hallway it's also very narrow old houses have interesting proportions here is a bedroom i wonder if this was the master bedroom very bright rich colors in here that's an interesting print again reproduction not old here's another fabulous bedroom maybe this was the master bedroom it's hard to say but I love this fireplace. Oh my gosh, this has a lot of look happening. And the ceilings in this place are very high. Look at the fireplace surround. So interesting. We've got some stained glass, some Victorian furniture. I love the marble top dresser. Let's get a better look at that. Very nice. All right, let's see if there's any rooms that we've passed by here. There's an old wedding photograph. And this leads to a third floor, but I imagine the suitcase means there's no entry up here. So we'll just head back downstairs. I'm loving this hall tree. It's very ornate, very fabulous. Look at the carving on this. What a beautiful piece. All right, I'm gonna take a look at this covered porch a little bit before I go because there's some awesome architectural details up here. And I just wanna really take it in. And I see a bird's nest. I wonder if the bird's nest costs extra. What do you think? Is it included with the property? Okay, we are on our way out now. I love the blue stone walkway. What a pretty place. Here's one last look at the building. All right, let's make our way back home. 
There's one last thing we need before we call this day done, and that is a little bit of Starbucks. I am all over the pumpkin spice cold brew. I had a very successful thrifting day at the Glastonbury Historical Society tag sale. It was really well done. It was a huge tag sale. They had so much good stuff. Everyone was really nice. The grounds were beautiful. The buildings were beautiful. And I can't wait to go back sometime when the whole like museum portion is put back together so I can really see it in its glory. So I barely even know where to start in terms of talking about things I liked the best. I have such an eclectic mix of things. It's really unbelievable. And I really like everything, but I guess I'll start with something that I invested in. So it was a little bit more money, but I think it will have been a really good investment. So I picked up this stack of plates. So there are salad plates and then oof, there are dinner plates. They are so heavy. So I'm gonna hold up one of each so you can see. So here's a dinner plate and here is a salad plate. These are so beautiful. These were made by Spode exclusively for Williams Sonoma. And these comped out really well. So I paid $48 for them. And they are eight salad plates and eight dinner plates. Here's the back stamp on these. But when I comped them out, these really did well in terms of what has sold on eBay. So I think they were a good find. I'm gonna hold up the dinner plate for you again. I love brown and white china, as you know, but these are great because these are modern reproductions. So these were made from a genuine hand engraving. These are dishwasher and microwave safe, and these were made in England. So I thought those were lovely. And again, you know, $48 is not a small amount to pay at a tax sale, but given that they are such high quality pieces and they comp so well, I feel really good about it. And as an added bonus, I actually was speaking to the woman who had donated those things to the tag sale and she was telling me how much she loved them and she still had the platter that matched the set. And it turned out that all of the things that I was buying were all the things that she loved or she donated. So I think we were twinning in terms of our home decor style. I would love to get my hands on the platter, but uh, yeah, I was very excited to find these and I think those will be a great addition to my eBay store. Of course, I have brown and white china myself, so parting with that might be a little harder than it might seem, but I'm prepared to be strong. Oh, and now we have an indie sighting. Here he is. Hey, did you miss me? I don't like it when I'm gone all day. They're so used to me working from home and being around that when I'm gone for a long time, they get a little bit squirrely. So I love those dishes that I just showed you. I think my next favorite thing may be, oh, these are so good, was this stack of Clarice Cliff plates in the Charlotte pattern. These are like a purple and white or a violet and white. They are gorgeous. I have sold these before and parting with them almost killed me, but I will part with these as well. They are so gorgeous. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six dinner plates. There are three, oops, three little salad plates, or actually I guess these are bread plates. And there was one soup bowl that is lovely. Isn't that so beautiful? And then there were three teacups that are a little worse. For, oh, and actually that salad, uh, that soup bowl has a little chip in it. And the teacups are a little rough as well and no saucers. So not a huge like complete set, but I was just really excited to find the dinner plates. So again, I paid up a little bit for that. They were $20, but I think someone will be really excited to get this set. I hope so. I love the purple and white. It's so unique. I love the design. And when I find Clarice Cliff in the wild, I try to snap her up when I can. That maybe sounded weird and a little bit like um, I'm abducting Clarice Cliff. She's long deceased. It's totally fine. She just like designed plates. 
it's all good. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I can show you next. I have an adorable kitty on my lap who does not want to be budged. I can already tell he's got his nails clawed right into my jeans with the idea that he is not moving. So I think I'll show you this adorable chalkware. Oh, oh, he just scrambled off me and that hurt. I'll show you this adorable little chalkware dog. He's so cute. He's not in perfect shape. You can see there's some little dings and imperfections, but I thought he was so cute. So this little dog was $6. There's nothing special on the bottom. And oh, he's just, he's got a great look and you can see lots of imperfections and things in the paint. Oh geez, the cat's back to scratch me again. Um, but I thought he was adorable. And what will I show you next? I know. Indy, no, 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 no. Okay. Next up, I picked up this great tin. It has the strawberries on it, as you can see. Now, I found a tin very similar to this when I was thrifting. I think I was like in the Hudson Valley, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it was in the Hudson Valley. I found a tin just like this. I wanted it so badly, but it was like 20 or $25, and I just did not want to pay that much for it. This was $1, so for $1, we had a sale. I'm gonna keep this, and this will come out probably in the summertime with my summer decor. I thought this would be great on the hutch, and of course, isn't breakable, which is always a plus. Then, randomly, I picked up a bunch of artificial plants to be able to pop into vases and things. Having recently done so much of that around the house, I could really see how transformative it is in my home decor and gives me that feeling of bringing the outside in, which I had been missing. So I bought this big stack of greens. They're in pretty nice shape. They were a dollar. And then I picked, oops, these flowers. Now, I don't really like the, um, I think these are very inexpensive looking, but I like the pink ones. And so these were a dollar. So I think that would be nice to be able to pop into urns or vases or whatever, just so again, I can get a little bit of that color and interest. Actually, I'm just thinking that might be nice in one of the vessels on my corner cabinet. I might try that after this video. I thought I'd take a moment and show you some things on the table, including this Irish coffee set that I spent $8 on. So we have the little saucers with the cups. It has this great design. And this is made, oops, this is made in Ireland. I don't know how you say that. I am not sure how you say that. I don't think I'm gonna even try to pronounce that. But yes, I've seen this set before, but every time I've seen it, it's been too much money to pick it up. So two, four, five cups, we have saucers. And then we have really sweet little plates. The sticker says lunch plates. I think these maybe are dessert plates, but I think they're awesome. And I love things with shamrocks on them. So this was a really fun little find. Let me show you that back stamp better if I can. Carigaline? Oh gosh, I'm killing this. I don't know, but I thought they were very pretty. I picked up this cup and saucer. This is so like the Lindsay cup and saucer I recently thrifted, but this one says McGregor on it. And again, has the great tartan, the thistle, the bluebells. It's the same kind of deal. This was $4 and this was made by Adderley. I paid 12 for mine and mine was 20% off. So I thought that was a really good deal and I'm hoping someone will love that. I also want to show you this pretty needlepoint picture that I picked up. I thought this was very, very pretty. $3 for this, as you can see, and I thought the frame was really interesting on this. So nice little piece. And here's another cup and saucer set. So this one was $4. I think this has such a pretty kind of Dutch look with the tulips and the other flowers, although it's not made in Holland. This is, oops, this is Wedgwood. So this was made in England and you can see there's some crazing. I think this is a rather older piece, but I thought it had a really nice look to it. So I was happy to pick that one up. 
I bought a handful of little painted boxes. I thought they had such a great look. So this one is definitely my favorite. This one was $2. And it's just, it's like wood. It's like a very thin wood. This one was also $2. This one was signed. So I guess done in 1978. And then these are really adorable as well. These feel a little bit lighter. But, you know, I love toll work, and toll work doesn't have to be on metal. It traditionally is on metal, but I like toll work done on just about anything, so I thought those were cute little finds. And then I bought two of these Johnson Friendly Village dishes in the wintry theme. Now, I paid $8 each for these, so they weren't super cheap but they seem to comp pretty consistently for around $24 or more, so I think it will be okay. Here's the back stamp on these. I thought the shape was very unique, and it has definitely that warm and cozy feeling that Johnson Brothers Friendly Village always evokes, so I got those two. Then for my own collection, I picked up this great little creamer now, I don't usually buy a creamer without a sugar, but this is such a pretty piece. Alhambra, it says. I would assume this was made in England, but it's beautiful. So this will be going in my own brown and white collection. And I also bought this beautiful piece also for my own collection. So this one's not marked, but I really, really liked it. And yeah, I was happy to have this. So this one's $6. Oh, look, it's got a little image inside too. Let me show you that. And how much was the creamer? I'm trying to remember, $6 for the creamer. So I thought they were really cute and I will be keeping those. Oops, I almost forgot to show you this pretty little bowl. I thought this was lovely. This was $4. This is Royal Stafford. And I love the pattern on this. So I picked that up. So that's it for the things I have to show you on the table, but there are still more things. So I bought this beautiful table runner. This was $8. I thought that had a great design. Let me see if I can hold that up for you a little bit better so you can see it. Here it is. This doesn't really go in my dining room, but I thought this could be wonderful on somebody's dining room table or some other spot that could use a little bit of pattern. And this is really well made. This is all lined and embroidered, as you can see. The edges are all done. The edges are um, actually in silk, feels like silk. Yeah, this is a really well done piece. I'm gonna assume this was handmade. It has a handmade quality and I think it is really very pretty. So I paid, what was it, $8 for this. It's a 12 by 46 inch table runner. So really nice piece in my opinion. Then I paid a little bit for this, but I had to have it. This is a little tiny hooked rug and I paid $20 for this. This is all handmade. It's not a very large piece, but this is so pretty. So this could be beautiful. Hanging up is a little bit of wall art. You could also put this on a coffee table as a topper. You could throw it over a chair. You could use it, I guess, as a little rug if you wanted to. Here's the back on this. So you can see it's so well made that it's almost as pretty from the back as it is from the front. And I thought it was really lovely, so I grabbed it. The last little piece of fabric, well, actually, not almost last piece of fabric I picked up, I thought was beautiful for the fall. So this is another gorgeous table runner. This is a really long one. So this one is 68 inches. I spent $6 on this one. And this one has such a great pattern on it. I really, really like this. But the best part is the fringe on the ends. And it's in really nice shape. This one has a little tag. 
it says country, no, Quat no, I'm not sure. Well, let me show you the tag first of all. It's the little tag. It says textiles, which makes sense. I think it says Cuatro Hermano. This was made in Mexico. So I think this is lovely. This is definitely very vintage and I think it has a great look. So this is gonna seem a little bit random. It is a little bit random. This is an unfinished hooked rug. This was only $4. It is humongous. And whoever got started with this just didn't finish it for one reason or another. You can see the outline of how big this was going to be. But the parts that were done were really, really beautiful. So I have no idea what I would do with this or what anybody would do with this. But for $4, I wasn't leaving it behind. I found a great deal of wall art that I really liked. And this piece is especially nice. So this is all needlepoint. It's really beautiful. It's an outdoor scene. It has a really kind of interesting moody effect, I think. And it's quite large. I was excited to find this. I thought it was just so interesting. This was $2. And actually it was interesting because I had this one in my hand just as a young couple came up and I guess the husband was about to show his wife and see if she wanted it. But by then, I had already gotten attached. So, and she was scolding him and saying, that's why at a tag sale, if you like something, you have to hold it. You have to hold it the whole time and never put it down. <laughs> Good advice. I picked this up. This has a little bit of damage on it, but I thought it was beautiful. So you can see there's some discoloration in what I think is silk right up here, but this is still very beautiful in my opinion. And this looks all hand embroidered. I also really, really like the frame on this piece. So for $4, I thought this would be a go. Yeah, I think that is so beautiful. It's a shame about the discoloration, but in some ways, I almost feel like that adds to some of its vintage appeal. I like things that don't look like they're brand new. I like things that look like they've had a life before I found them. And that's definitely why we buy these old pieces when we go out thrifting, right? Because we don't want the things we can just find anywhere at any department store. So here's another piece that I think this, this is really good. Um, so this is a mirror, as you can see, and it has this little bird on the top. This is $5. So this came out of the house of the woman that had the um, beautiful brown and white plates. And it's signed, and this is a little bit of dried flowers right here. So this actually has a very textural quality to it that might not be coming up on camera. And the mirror is in really good shape. I better not show you the mirror because it's reflecting the disaster on the other side of the dining room table. And nobody needs to see that. But I loved this. This is weird. Ready to see something weird? So this is a very long piece of wood that has fabulous vegetables painted on it. So it's weirdly long. It just keeps going. Yeah, it has kind of a neat look. I might be keeping this. I'm not sure. This was $4, but it was, I just, I love the painting on this. And I really liked the shape of the wooden piece itself. Well, you wouldn't call it a trough. I don't know what you would call this. But yeah, I just really liked it. So I picked that up. I also got this folding tray. It seems like it's in pretty nice condition actually. Um, and it has a tag on the back. So it's from, this was made in Memphis, Tennessee, made in the USA. So it's got legs, mm -hmm. so show you so you can get the full effect and so I cannot wait for Eric to serve me breakfast in bed on this tray every single day just kidding he's not gonna do that but I did think if I wanted to get some work done 
while I was in bed or on a chair if I just needed a nice stable surface. This would be awesome. I keep threatening to get a laptop computer. I really could use one. Um, I love my desktop, it works great, but I would love the convenience of a laptop and to be able to work all around the house in different locations. And if I do get one, which I will eventually, this would be so helpful in um, giving me a nice stable workspace and also creating a nice hard surface so that a laptop could circulate air. I, I always hear it's really bad for them if you put them on soft, squishy things because then they don't vent properly. So I thought that was awesome. So I thought this next thing I'm gonna show you was really interesting. If you watch my videos regularly, you might recall that I went to Comstock Ferry and Company very recently, and I did just a little segment on there, just a very brief snippet of history from that store in Old Weathersfield. Well, I found this great old etching, illustration, lithograph, I don't know what the heck this thing is, but anyway, this is Comstock Ferry and Company, depicted as was back in the day. I just thought that was meant to be. I don't absolutely love the dark matting around it, but I think the frame is fine. And I thought it was just so funny to run into this piece, having just talked about it on my video. So that was $4. And then I found this right next to it. So they were clearly framed together and they were clearly from the same household. I'm wondering if this is also a scene from Old Weathersfield. I don't know if anybody can tell just by looking at it. I didn't notice any clues as to its origins, but I thought it was really sweet. This was also $4. This was framed. There's a little um, card in the back by Wythe Studios in Hebron, Connecticut. So here are the pieces together. You can see they would look very lovely together, a little bit of Connecticut history. And I thought that was just meant to be. This next piece that I picked up looks like it was torn out of a book or something. And I don't love the frame, um, but it had kind of an interesting quality. So I picked it up anyway, it was $2. It says Frankfurt on it. And I really liked this kind of old school harbor scene on it. I thought it had kind of an interesting look. So maybe not a great purchase, but I thought it had a quality. And for $2, I was willing to give it a shot. And then the last thing I picked out is definitely for me. I like this a lot. You will see why. So this one is a Courier and Ives print and it was actually $24. So I paid a little bit for this, but again, you'll see why. I think actually I'm gonna move the camera so you can get a full view of this piece. I moved to the kitchen to reduce some of the glare that we would have anywhere else, I think, but check out the little white kitties. It looks like two irises and look, this one is up to no good. So definitely that's Iris or Iris's ancestor. These kitties don't have her very tall ears, but I thought they were very cute. My little white kitties taking the cake. That is so cute. And the frame, I'm still getting glare. Oh dear, I don't know how I can show this to you better, but let me try one more thing. Nope, it does seem whatever I do, we have a glare situation. I think this is just as good as we're gonna get. Unfortunately, there just is a lot of glare and there's not too much I can do about it, but I do love this. I'm not sure where it's gonna go, but it will go somewhere good. And I wanted to show you the details in the frame, which are really nice. And this little one just looks like Iris staring right at me, going, yeah, I'm destroying your house. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, that's what. So that was my rather large haul. I think I did pretty well. I am excited by what I found. I'm still deciding what exactly I'm keeping and selling and all of those things. Most of this stuff I will be selling. Uh, it will probably go in my eBay store. If it's too big for my eBay store, I'll wait until I have a booth space. If it's something that you would like, regardless, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. I'm always open to doing local pickup for bigger items that I can't ship. But 
It was awesome. What is interesting is today was day one, so the sale will be going on tomorrow, and I have a feeling they'll still have lots of stuff. And then Sunday is half off day. And um, so that will be a day to find bargains. I'm not sure how much will be left at that point, but I can tell you, I was tormented by this fabulous set of Limoges in the pink flowers that I love. It's a set that I have, I have many pieces from that same set, that same pattern. It was really tempting. It was two boxes full and they wanted 150 for it, which was a fine price. It wasn't as comprehensive as that yellow set I recently thrifted, but certainly gorgeous pieces. It's stunning. Uh, I just, where would it go? Where would I put it? You know, my cabinet, my cabinet behind me is full. I have some overflow going into another China cabinet. So at some point it just becomes, I think, potentially excessive, right? I mean, so it wasn't even really the price. It was just the quantity. And honestly, I don't entertain that much. So I'm a girl with a lot of China and not a lot of parties to throw. It's kind of a weird conundrum to be in. But um, yeah, I mean, that will, I have a feeling that will probably haunt my dreams. There was also a set of library stairs that were very interesting, but they were not in good condition. And for that reason, I left them behind. Beyond that, yeah, there were a few things here and there that I liked. I tried to be very discerning. I tried to be very particular. I also tried to think about you know, my online eBay store and also a potential store space and what might be good pieces to have. And I really forced myself to not just buy, like there were some Limoges plates and things that I didn't pick up because I have, they weren't my pattern and I have Limoges on my store. Limoges doesn't sell fast. And I thought, you know, let's not get more of the same kind of stuff. Let's try to mix it up. I did get teacups, but only two. Yeah, I think I think I got some good variety. What do you think though? Did you like this haul? Do you think I got some interesting things? Do you think I missed the mark? Was there anything you saw in the video that I didn't pick up that had you screaming at your screen saying, Chris from Worthington Home, what are you thinking? I would love to know. So leave me a comment and I will certainly get back to you as soon as I read it. I love hearing from you as always. This is where my fabulous white cat picture lives for right now. It's on the kitchen hutch. You've seen this before if you've seen my Halloween decor video. But I think it looks really cute here. And when the season is over, I'll find another place for it. I know this isn't really typically associated with Halloween decor because they're white cats and we usually think of black cats. But because it has the black matting, I thought it kind of worked. And I think the white kitties go with some of the other things happening here. And sometimes it's nice to lighten up a little bit with some other pieces that give some contrast. So I'm loving this little piece. I'll figure out where it goes after the season is over, but I'm really glad I picked it up and it continues to remind me of my crazy girl. Just for comparison with the picture, here is the real girl. Here's my Miss Iris. She's so pretty. She still has that little scratch on her face, but it's getting better. She is on the mend. Here's the brown and white transferware corner cabinet. And you can see I put my new creamer and I don't think this is an open sugar because it seems too big to me. Although the patterns do seem to have a matching kind of vibe. I'm not sure, maybe it's just a bowl that goes with this set. Whatever it is, I think it's beautiful. I put them here together. I think it looks really lovely with the rest of my brown and white transfer wear. And I'm happy to have them in my collection. I decided to pop my faux foliage and flowers into a brown and white pitcher and basin set which is right here on top of my corner cupboard. And I think it looks really pretty. and gives a little color to this otherwise kind of boring space. So I'm happy with it. You can't beat $2, right? And here's the rest of the cupboard in case you're curious. I've been keeping these tassels here. I had a lot of comments from viewers saying that they liked the tassels, even though they're for curtains. They do have kind of a fun look and they do match the room. 
So we've got lots of fun thrifted finds going on in this room and I like it. So that's it for me. Whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great day. Um, if you would take a moment to hit like and please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm getting closer to 3,500, which is my next goal. And your subscription might be the one that gets me just that little bit closer if you haven't already subscribed. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great day. And I certainly hope to see you next time. Bye for now.